Hey, what's up, stickers? Wanugi with Golden Dragon Fortunes, your kid rap psychic. Are you ready for episode four of K pop Ships Compatibility Countdown for Kim Tae Young? Yeah, we're gonna do Vedic Astrology. You ready? Army, here we go. Calling out all you K pop fandoms, light sticks and fan chants. You're never random. BTS and your army. Moo Moo's radish farming. Wanna one, wanna both. Winners in a circle. Rev loves love mom baby. XLL carrot fantasy. That seven light high melody. Iconic and citizen elf buddy. So one me you like a VIP. In car Cheshire panda speak. Who jump star like universe and all you blinks. Rashai, welcome everybody. K Rob Psyche here. Yodosh Kodin Are you ready for episode 4 of K pop Ships Compatibility Countdown for Kim Tae Young of BTS? We got a lot to cover this time. This episode, we're going to go through uh, the Vedic astrology. We're going to do a countdown of the top 10 compatibilities of Vedic, using Vedic astrology with Kim Tae Young. And then we're going to see who did the worst, who had the worst Vedic compatibility that they could be eliminated when we add their scores to their total scores. And then we're going to do a countdown where we can combine all the scores up to now, cumulatively, adding numerology and Vatsa Chinese astrology and then Vedic astrology. And then k is going to show us a countdown of the top 10 most compatible cumulative countdown for the top 10. And round three, it's called round three as our third elimination. And also, who gets eliminated? Who gets eliminated this round because they didn't make 50%? So let's get started right away because we have a lot of ground to cover. K pop ships, compatibility, countdown, Kim Tae Young, BTS. First of all, I want K Rap, my brother, little brother, to explain Vedic astrology for you so you understand how it works. Welcome, Army. Come on in, all your other K pop uh, fans. Uh, we're going to be continuing our series here for the K-Pop Compatibility Countdown for Kim Taehyung, V of, of BTS. And so, let me explain Vedic Astrology to you. Vedic Astrology is very ancient, very old. It's from India. It's been developed over many, many years. And it's very complicated. Very complicated, very different than Western Astrology uh, and even different from Chinese Astrology. It is moon-based, uh, like Chinese Astrology. Um, whereas Western astrology is uh, more sun-based. But I won't, we're not going to explain all the Vedic astrology, but as far as compatibility, there's a certain kind of system they use. It's called Guna Milan. There's criteria. There's eight different criteria of calculating ca compatibility with two individuals uh, that may be seeking matrimony or a long-term relationship. And so this system is heavily weighted toward marriage and family and children, not just you know, dating or something like that. It's about serious relationship. You know, in India, the tradition is that there's a lot of arranged marriages. And so families will go to an astrologer and try to find out uh, who may be compatible, who fits, you know, the family system, the background, the history, the language, culture. I mean, there's, you know, many different cultures in India. There's 23 official languages in India. So it's uh, very diverse. Um, so they use this astrology system, Vedic astrology, to help determine who might be a good match in a relationship for marriage. So there's eight gunas or eight criteria that they use to determine compatibility. Each one worth different kinds of points. There's actually a total of 36 points that are possible for complete compatibility. And so that there's eight categories. The first one's worth one point, then two points, then three points, and four points, five, six, seven, eight, and so on. And so there's a total of 36 different points when you add all those up. And the first uh, one that's worth one point, only about 2% of the total compatibility, is what's called Varna. And this has to do with the work attitude, the capacity to work, and this kind of thing. So that only is worth one point out of 36. Uh, the second one is Vasya. This has to do with the dedication and compatibility of the relationship. Uh, between the two people. That's only worth 5% of the total score, two points. The third one is Tara. Tara is, uh, has to do with the well-being of, of the marriage, uh, after marriage, you know, how, how well-being of the, of the couple going to be after marriage. And that's 8% or number three points out of 36. And then the fourth one is Yoni. 
and this is worth of uh, this is number four. It's worth about 11% of the total points, or four points uh, out of 36. And this has to do with the physical and the sexual compatibility of the couple. Then number five is called uh, Graha Maitri. This has five points, 14% of the total points, and it has to do with the love between the couple, the love uh, between the, the two people. And then number six with six points, or 17% of the total, is called Ghana, Ghanaku, and this has to do with the temperament, the temperament of the two individuals, and are they compatible? And then number seven, which is worth uh, about 20%, maybe, of the total points, uh, seven, seven points out of 36, this is called Bakutku, and this has to do with the overall uh, health and prosperity of the family after marriage. So, like I said, it's very heavy, heavy weighted toward the family and after marriage. And then the last one, uh, worth eight points, or about 23% of the total points, is something called Narikut, and this has to do with the genetic compatibility of the couple to have healthy children. So this is heavily geared toward family, you know, marriage, compatibility, health, you know. It must have worked. I mean, there's 1.3 billion Indian, Indians now in the subcontinent, so, uh, and around the world, so uh, obviously the system uh, has some credibility to it. So that's the Vedic astrology. It's heavily geared toward long-term family building relationships uh, between two people. It's not about just being boyfriend and girlfriend. But we're gonna use it um, for this compatibility countdown for V, for uh, Kim Tae Young. So that's that's how, how we're gonna do it. And uh, cheer up. Thanks, Kira, for the explanation. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna count down the top 10 most compatible using Vedic astrology only. And then we'll next after that we'll see who did make 50% the show. So first to count down. Number 10 from uh, Momoland, MLD agency. It is Heben. <laughs> okay, number 10. Heben from Momoland. Let's see the score. It is 74% for, for Heben of Momoland for Vedic astrology. It's a good number, pretty high number, and that's worth almost two points. It's worth one point. Number nine in Vedic astrology countdown. For most compatible. She is from Everglow. Sihan. Yeah! Number nine. Sihan is uh, from Everglow and uh, one of those up and coming uh, girl crush groups. She had a pretty low score for the Vatsa uh, challenge. She was at risk of uh, getting eliminated, but she came back to the Vedic astrology and her score is 74%. Another point for her and that kind of raised her back up. She's number nine in compatibility using just the Vedic. Number eight. Corner. From Thailand, with G Idol, it's Mini. Yeah! Number eight, Mini from G Idol, Thai, Thai girl from Bangkok. Let's see what her score is for Vedic. Seventy-five percent. So she made, that qualifies her for two points. So the scoring is over fifty percent is one point, over seventy-five percent is two points, over eighty-five percent is three points. Cheer up. Number seven, most compatible using Vedic astrology only. The soloist from M and H Entertainment. Chung Number seven, Chung Ha. Snappin', snappin', gotta go. Or maybe stay, stay tonight. Anyway, Chung Ha, let's see what the, the she's a soloist from MNH and uh, also with uh, ICM from the US. Let's see what the score is for her. 76%, so that's good. She's got two points and she's number seven with compatibility for Vedic, with V. Number six, she is from one of the top girl groups in Korea. From Red Velvet, from SM Entertainment, it's Yeri. Yeah! Number six, Yeri from Red Velvet. So she's the maknae, she's the youngest, she's a 99 liner. Let's see what the, the scores are for her. 76%, just like Chung Ah. So that's two points. So you could say that maybe, you know, Yeri could be, Chung Ah could be here, Yeri could be there. I mean, they're, they're the same. They're very close. Number five. Number five on the Vedic astrology compatibility. Again, on that some entertainment on the top three cool groups. Red Velvet, it's Wendy. Wendy. So we have two Red Velvet. Hey, Rev Loves, welcome in. Two two Red Velvets in the top ten in Vedic astrology with Kim Taeyong. But you didn't think that. So let's see what Wendy's score is. 76%. So that's two points as well. So you know, these are interchangeable. I mean, Chung Ha, Yeri, Wendy, they could be all, they're all got the same score, 76%, two points. So they could be somewhere between 
they can switch places. Number four, Vedic Astrology Compatibility. Also from the top, one of the top three groups. This time, from JYP, from twice, it's Tsuyu. Tsuyu. Kira, what's the score? Number four, Tsuyu, Chewy, Taiwanese girl, twice. So let's see what the score says. She's at 76% too, so that's two points. So, you know, she could be number four or she could be number seven. Chung Ao could be number four or she could be number seven. So, you know, Tsuyu, Wendy, Yeri, Chung Ao all had the same score. 76% compatibility and two points. Top three, number three. In the countdown of compatibility using Vedic astrology with Kim Tae Young. The, you don't know much about them. It's the mystery star. Number three, the mystery star. We don't know about this person. We don't know much. Maybe you have some ideas. Maybe we make some comments. If you there's an idol that you thought we didn't cover that could be compatible with V, maybe it's your your, your stand, your bias, um, or maybe have some guesses about who this mystery star is. But you know, make some comments if you want but we have not much to share with them, except for the number three. And so they're pretty high up, they're scoring pretty well. Kara? Not much to say about the mystery star, it's a mystery. Number two, another foreigner, she's from China, and she is from Cube Entertainment, from CLC, crystal clear, it's Elki. Number two, Elki. Elki, the Chinese girl from Hong Kong, Let's see what the score says for her for Vedic Astrology in compatibility with Kim Tae-young. 94%. Wow, this is a huge jump. 94% compatibility and three points. She gets three points. So very compatible using the Vedic Astrology to start a family, you know, and have healthy kids. So cheer up. And number one, using Vedic Astrology and compatibility with Kim Tae-young. It's a very popular idol. She's one of the top three girl groups. She's from YG Entertainment, from Blackpink. It's Rosé, Park Oh, all the fans want to be happy about that. Number one, Rosé. Rosé from Blackpink. Hey, I don't know, you rose cookers? What are you gonna say? Uh, let's see what the score is for Rosé and Kim Tae Young using Vedic. 94% as well. I guess she could be Elkie or Rosé. But 94% and three points. A very high compatibility, Rose and Elki. They're kind of a cut above everybody else. And you got the next batch, uh, Mystery Star through Chang Ah with 76% and two points. And then you have everybody else. So that's the top 10 most compatible using Vedic Astrology with V. Okay, thank you, Kira. All right, now we're going to look at those that didn't do well with Vedic Astrology, the bottom part, the people that didn't make 50% compatibility based on Vedic Astrology. The first one below 50% for Vedic Astrology, she's with Cube Entertainment, CLC, it's Soren. First one came in 18th place, out, basically out of 25 that are remaining. Soren, CLC, let's see the score. 39%. Pretty low. Not compatible based on Vedic astrology. Cheer up. Next one under 50%. Could be eliminated when we combine all the scores. From Big Hit Entertainment from G Friend. It's Yuju. <laughs> Yuju. Yuju from Girlfriend. Big Hit Entertainment. Same same company now as V. And let's see the score. 35%. So she was 19th in compatibility out of 25 remaining. The third idol. It did not make 50% based on Vedic Astrology. One of the big three girl groups from JYP Entertainment and twice, it's Nyan. Thanks, your app. Nyan, twice. Great personality. One of the main vocalists for, for twice. Let's see what her score is. 33%. Not good. 33%. She came in 20th in compatibility. Next idol did not make 50% with Kim Taeyang on Vedic Astrology. Also from big three girl group. From JYP, from twice, it's Sana. Sana, Sana, she came in number one in numerology, I think. But here in Vedic, she it was only 33%. So she was 21st out of 25. Now maybe she could have been switched with Naya, but same score. But yeah, Sana had a big drop from when she started off the first round. See you this idol did not make over 50% compatibility with Vedic Astrology with V. It's 
from her, his own group, from Big Hit Entertainment, from BTS, it's Jungkook. Jungkook, Jungkook, are you bee cookers? Are you tea cookers? Vedic doesn't like you, Vedic Astrology. Well, let's see what the score is. Let's see what the score is for Jungkook and Taeyang. 33%. Like they found out Jungkook could get, get along pretty well, but obviously not as compatible with Tae, either of them. At 33%, they got the same score. Next one. Another one from the big three co groups. From SM Entertainment from Red Velvet, it's Joy. Joy? Joy was number one in the Basa Chinese astrology, but in Vedic Indian astrology, she's down here in the bottom. Let's see what the score is. 32%, only 32% for Joy. So she went from, I don't know, 90% with Vatsa to 32% with uh, Vedic. So you can see their systems are totally different. Yeah, she was 23 out of 25 remaining idols as far as Vedic astrology and c compatibility. So maybe they're good boyfriend, girlfriend material, and but not good <laughs> marriage and children material. Tear up. Second to the last one that did not make 50% with Vedic astrology. This is a big name. She's from the big three. She's from YG Entertainment, from Blackpink. It's Jenny. Jenny, Jenny, what? Jenny from Blackpink. Wow, this is going to be disappointing to a lot of you. All you Jenny fans, all you Jenny shippers. Let's see what the score is. Twenty-six percent. Wow, pretty low, like three quarters incompatible with uh, V from BTS. V, V, Vedic is not for V and Denny. So very disappointing, 24th out of 25 in, in the Vedic. The last one? And the last idol did not make 50% based on Vedic astrology with V compatibility. From RPW, from Mama Moo, it's Wein. Wein, Wein from Mama Moo. Doesn't work, work well according to Vedic astrology. I don't know if that's because she's older. Uh, I mean, she's a 95 liner, just like uh, V, but she was born in April. He was born in this, almost the end of the year. But let's see what the score is. 13%, this is pretty low, 13%. I mean, it's almost like no compatibility. Uh, not a good choice for creating a family with V. All right, all you V fans, all you Kim Young fans, it's time for round three eliminations. Countdown. So this is accumulating all the scores. The first round elimination was using numerology. The second round elimination was based on Fatsa Chinese astrology. And now we're going to be doing Vedic astrology. But first we're going to start with the countdown, starting with the top 10 that were most compatible cumulatively up to now, with one more round left for Western astrology. Let's see who the top 10 are in compatibility with the starting with number 10 from a big three tour group from SM Entertainment. Red Velvet, it's Sulgi. Thanks, you up. Number 10, Sogi from Red Velvet. So let's see what the scores are cumulatively up till now. They are, you can see that in, in the numerology, Sogi did 55%, she made it over 50%. In the Batsa, 78%, she did very well. In the Vedic, it's okay, she did 65%. It's in purple because there's something that's called uh, Mangaldosh, which has to do with Mars, and there's some potential incompatibility there, although we don't have enough detail to determine exactly that's the case. That averages out to 66% and four points. So she's number 10 up to now, three quarters of the way through of this compatibility countdown for P. Kim Taeyang. Clear up. Next, another big three group group, very popular from YG Entertainment, from Blackpink, it's Jisoo. Visu, hey, Visu, all you Taesu, Visu fans, shippers? Visu is in the top 10 as far as compatibility with V. So let's see what the scores are. Numerology, she was 65% and one point. Batsu, 74% and another point. Vedic, 63% and another point. So that averages out to 67%. The percentage uh, uh, takes precedence over the points and three points. So Sogi had more points, but Jisoo has a higher percentage, so she is number nine in K-pop ship capacity countdown for Kim Taehyung. Visu, Army, Blinks. All right, from one of the big four entertainment companies. She is from Big Hit Entertainment. From G-Fan, it's Yeren. 
Year in. Yeah, they're both part of Big, Big Hit Entertainment now. Chief Fan has joined Big Hit with BTS. And so Yaren is with uh, Big Hit Entertainment now. They're in the same agency. Let's see what the percentages say for, for Yaren and V. They are 85%. She was really good in numerology. Really, very compatible in numerology. 85%, three points. And the Batsa, 61%. So that's another point. That's over 50%. And then for the Vedic Astrology, she squeaked by with 54% and another point. So that averages out to 67%, a total of five points. So that she's higher than Jisoo because she's got five points instead of Jisoo's three points. Percentage was the same, 67%. So she's number eight. Number seven, a foreigner from China. This is Cube Entertainment, CLC, it's Elki. Elki, ni hao ma? Elki, from Hong Kong. Ni hao ma? Anyway. Let's see what the scores say for Elki and V in compatibility up to now. The numbers are? So, in the Chaldean numerology, she was 75% and two, that's two points. But in the Batsa, wow, she dropped down. This is Chinese astrology and she's Chinese, but it didn't work for her. Only 31% and zero points. So she really dropped like a rock there. But in the Vedic, as we just saw, 94%, three points. So that really brought her back up. So the total score is 67% and five points. So, I mean, Yaren and her are the same, she fan. So you could switch them around, but 67% five points. She's number seven. Number six in cumulative compatibility up to this point, three out of four tests. Number six from another big studio group. From SM Entertainment, she speaks English. Red Velvet, it's Wendy. <laughs> Number six, Wendy, another Red Velvet. What is this? Red Velvet's all over the place here. They're really kind of beating out all the other girls. So Wendy, Red Velvet. Hey, Wendy, I hope you're getting better. Hope you're recovering fully. I know that was a terrible accident back in December. And we wish the best for you. Now let's see what the scores are for Wendy and V. 90% in numerology, she was, she was way up there. I think she was top three. Anyway, that's three points. Then you go to Batsa and then drop down, 37%, no points. But if you go to Vedic, 76% and two points. So she's a total of 68% and five points. So she's got the same points as Elki and Yaren, but one percentage higher in average percentage score. So 68%, she's number six. Number five. Number five, another. Another one from Big Three. Actually, it's the matinee of this group. She is from some entertainment. Red Velvet. It's Yeri. 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 The youngest of Red Velvet. These Red Velvet girls are really kind of, we got, uh, they're really competing. So let's see what the scores say for the little Yeri of Red Velvet. Matching up with V. 77% and two points for numerology. You look at the Batsa, still 53%, still positive, that's another point. And then the Vedic, 76%, that's two points. So that's a total of 69% and five points. And so, so number five. Number four in this compatibility countdown for Kim Taeyang is the mystery star. The mystery star. We don't have much to say about this mystery star. We don't know much about them that maybe you have some guesses maybe you want to make some comments maybe you want to add in who you think is the best uh, that we didn't talk about who wasn't on the top 30 uh, compatibility contestants maybe you have a special one that you are thinking about maybe you want to make some comments below and you, know, you can ask about the, the compatibility if you like and subscribe we'll answer we'll kind of do an individual individual compatibility with your favorite idol and v or anybody else and and see what the what the match is number three Incompatibility up to now. Three out of four, we're three quarters of the way there. 75% finished with three tests, one more to go. But with Vedic astrology, Bats astrology, and numerology. Number three, incompatibility with B is a soloist, formerly of YG Entertainment. It's Liha. Lehigh. Lehigh, formerly of YG Entertainment. Maybe a lot of you are not into her, but she's been around for a long time. She's cute, she's talented. Let's see what the cumulative scores are with her compatibility with V. 80% numerology, two points, pretty good score. Tatsa, 67%, another point, that's not bad. And Vedic, 63%, another point. So she only has four points total, 
but that averages out to 70%. So uh, slow and steady, I guess, not this up and down. And so she's got 70% compatibility and four points. And she's number three on the list of most compatible with B. Number two, she is very talented, very hot right now. She is also a soloist from m &H Entertainment. It's Chung Ha. Number two, Chung Ha. Chung Ha is always kind of up in the top of all these things. She doesn't got to go. She can stay, day to night. And he's doing some snapping. So let's see what the score say. Numerology, 95%. I think she was, what, number two uh, on the list? So that's three points, very high. Then Batsa, just squeaked by, 51%. Still gets another point. And the Vedic Astrology, 76%. Two more points. So the totals are 74% and five total points. So she's number two in round three of our K-pop ships compatibility countdown and elimination. So after three rounds, she's in number two. Who's number one? Cheer up. Number one. The number one most compatible with Kim Taehyung at this moment, three quarters of the way through this compatibility countdown. She's from a big three crew group. She's from YG Entertainment. From Blackpink, it's Rose. Rose. Rosé of Blackpink, hey, Park Jae Young, Rosie, hey, so love Rosie, and right now she's leaving the pack. She's at number one in compatibility with Kim Tae Young. You rose cookers, what do you think? You tail leasers, I don't know. What do you think? You v sewers, could be disappointing. It's Rosé. Let's see what the scores are. Eighty percent, two points in numerology. Batsu. 57%, another point for Chinese Batsu. Vedic, Indian Vedic, 94%, three more points. So the score, our total score is 77% compatibility average and six total points. So she is number one in compatibility with Kim Taehyung. Hey, they're a cute couple. So, hey, I, I'm, I'm surprised there's not more shippers for Tay and Rosé, Tay Rosé. Uh, what is the ship name? I don't know. Uh, Rose Tay? Tay Rose? V Rose? Uh, you tell me. Che? Che Che? Che Tay? Che Che? Uh, so she's number one. Number one in compatibility countdown for Kim Tae Young. Up to now, we have one more test to go. That's Western Astrology. And so that'll be the next episode. We'll see what the totals are and who comes out on top. Cheer up. There are two idols that cumulatively up to now when you combine all their scores from the three numerology Batsu and Vedic are not maintaining 50% and so they're going to be eliminated unfortunately the first one is from RPW from Mama Moon the talented the beautiful the super beautiful for you Okay, sadly, Wee-In. Wee-In, she couldn't maintain her level. Over 50% average. This is, we're taking all three tests. We're averaging the percentage, and if it's not over 50%, you get eliminated in each round. First round was Daehyun. Then we eliminated, I don't know, four more people in round two. And Wee-In, first one to go in round three. Let's see what the scores are. 67% in numerology, so she was doing pretty well. That's like two thirds compatible. But Batsa went down again to 63%. And then what really killed her was Vedic astrology. She was the lowest, 13%. So that really dragged down her average to below 50%. And it was 48% and two points. She was 25 out of 25 remaining. So she gets eliminated. Hi, right, Wien, Super Beagle, love you. And the last person to be eliminated this round is very popular idol from one of the big three girl groups, one of the big three entertainment companies. She speaks English, she speaks Korean, she's pretty good in Japanese too. She's from YG Entertainment, Vaccine, 
It's Jenny! Say goodbye to Kenny. What happened? Jenny? Tenny? Are you kidding me? What do you mean? Are you Tenny shippers? Jenny and Taeyang? Wow, this is shocking. This is very shocking for all you Tenny shippers. So let's see what the scores are. Jenny did decently in 60% uh, for numerology. So she's okay, got one point. Batsu, about the same, 61%. One point for Chinese astrology. But when you look at Vedic, she really got hit hard. 26%, zero points. And that percentage really dragged down her average. So when you look at the total score, combining all the averages of the three, it's only 49%. So she didn't quite make, just by one point, didn't quite make 50%. You know, and so she's been eliminated. That's it. You know, those two are eliminated. Those are the only two not eliminated in this round. So that leaves 23 contestants. We've eliminated seven idols. Compatibility with V. And we have one more round to go, which is Western Astrology. And so we'll do that next episode. So stay tuned. Like and subscribe. Hit the bell so you're notified when we come out with the last and final episode of the K-pop ships compatibility countdown with V Taeyang. Will be interesting to see who's number one. All right. So until next time, wish you all good fortunes. Hey, what's up, seekers? Looking in the future, peekers. You K-pop breakers, coming round and see us every weekers. Yo, diehard K-pop fans, I want to know your stance. Just let us know your bias, then go ahead, try us. <laughs>